What is up Team Boost? It's a little earlier than we normally get up. It's about 5.30 right now. The reason we're doing that is because we're taking the Porsche down a uh, for a little drive with some friends. What's the point of building these things if you don't enjoy them? Yeah. Even though it's really freaking early. I need coffee. Yeah. So, let's, so we're going to head out and then today we are going to be working. Oh shit, I almost died. Came out of nowhere. We're going to be working on the 240, finishing up uh, things that we were doing in the last video. We had to make a side exit exhaust and uh, install some boost controller and uh, turn that shit way up. So we'll be doing that after we go have a little bit of fun. So we told everyone to scumbag it out of here, and I think at least half of them agreed to, so. <laughs> Give the Honda a go. <laughs> uh, you know, it's pretty loud, but you know, that's probably like a, on a scale of one to 10. It was a moderate send. Get a, get a hard six. It was loud though, it was cool. It was sweet. <laughs> we're gonna go grab some lunch and then we're gonna get started on the, uh, the Datsun. Fuck yeah. So we're back in the garage. I'm gonna make sure the mic's on. All right, so like I was just saying, we're back in the garage and um, we're gonna pick up pretty much where we left off with the Datsun last time you guys saw us, which is uh, the new turbo position and those gauges. We never actually got to what Devin's holding right now. Yeah, we got uh, two new gauges, uh, one boost gauge with uh, built-in boost control and the other one an air fuel that will actually work this time because it's wide band, not narrow band. <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, we have a wideband controller that talks to Megasquirt, but we have a narrowband uh, gauge that doesn't read it at all. Um, and then I'm going to be building the, the third iteration of the, uh, the backyard ghetto exhaust. Uh, as you guys know, our exhaust comes out the front fender uh, on the passenger side, and the turbo is in an entirely different spot now. And uh, we ran out of daylight last time, so that's another one of those things. Basically doing this and doing that. And hopefully uh, we can see how the car sounds and with these gauges we could control the boost and make sure that it's not blowing up so we're gonna get right into it okay, let's do it Is that what it is? <laughs> okay, so my goal with the uh, Ghetto Exhaust V3 is to basically just use this end because it comes out at the right angle. I'm going to put it into how it normally sit, and then I'm just going to make a piece that joins to the turbo. 
which is really hot, even though the car was on for 10 seconds. Um, should be pretty simple. You guys have seen us make like 100 of these. Um, we make 15 degree pie cuts. We got a big old section of pipe to work with. There's a lot of three inch pipe, so uh, I can mess it up virtually endless times and we still have enough material to make it work. Thanks for the pipe, Sam. Yeah, Sam, thanks for the pipe. Appreciate it, good section of pipe. Ladies. Ladies. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Ladies love pipe. You guys all agree that part of the best part about ordering parts online is that you always get stickers? Yep. <laughs> Literally the best. So here's the old, uh, here's the Spartan 2 controller. And then that's just a regular, well, it's a super long O2 sensor. Yeah, ridiculous. And then it's got this whole clusterfuck of wires right here. And we're just going to be able to bring the wires directly in through here. And all that's going to be coming out is this O2 right into it. So this will all be cleaned up. Pretty excited about that. My plan unraveled really quick. Almost instantly, actually. <laughs> There's no joining these. So I'm going to have to cut out our resonator and just start over. Which is a bummer, because I really, I really liked those pie cuts. I'm gonna have to make more. Hopefully our saw blade's up to it. Let me show you guys what we got going on over here. It's sticking out a little bit. I made the cut, like, well, I made the line where the cut needs to go. So what Devin's gonna do is all this stuff's right. He's gonna tack weld it in the fender. That's why we got the wheel off. And uh, Ghetto Exhaust V3 will be complete. Yeah. Hopefully we can get it out of there after we tack it. Well, that's why it used to be like sticking out to here. I mean, if not, then we can just say final install, leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one of you commented now that Devin went uh, full Merrick with the full facial hillbilly. hair. Full hillbilly, yeah. That his welds have improved. It's definitely the mustache. Those are MIG welds? <laughs> you fucking laying dimes with this thing? All right, anyone who wants to up their weld game, you gotta... <laughs> you gotta what get a sweet fuck? handlebar mustache. It's the only way. You're laying dimes with this shit. Dude, that's as good as their TIG weld. How'd you do that? Much practice with this garbage welder. Seriously, goddamn. If you just hit this with a wire wheel, it'll look like a TIG weld. I just gotta cut that tip off, and then this is definitely our best one yet. I'm so mad that's not stainless, because then we could like have it polished. Nah, that's too far, but. <laughs> too much for this car. Get, getting pretty good. When you do it 500 times. All right, so uh, our new boost setup's pretty simple. Um, we got this little solenoid here. Uh, what it does is it connects to the wastegate and then connects to the uh, the turbo. And this is going to be our new atmosphere. So on the top of the wastegate where it would normally be atmosphere, we're going to have this number two line going. So if we uh, we hit the high boost, uh, it's just going to activate this cylinder, which will apply back pressure on the spring and make it so that the spring can't open until it reaches a certain level of boost. So, and all this, simple setup. All this stuff's activated on a duty cycle, um, which you control with the gauge slash controller. Um, so you don't actually type in what boost you want to run. you got to figure that out. So for us, you know, 60% uh, duty cycle might be 15 pounds. That's something that we got to trial and error mm -hmm. and uh, do lots of... Uh, Lots of uh, shameful street tuning, but we're in Mexico, so it's not a big deal here. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Super temporary, but everything's done. Um, so we're going to turn it on, and uh, we're going to set up the true boost. We're going to put it at like 50% duty cycle, which might get us more than 12 pounds. But we have uh, other plans tonight, so we're running out of time here. But I'd say that getting that exhaust done and everything hooked up is... Uh, yeah, we went up Palomar Road today. Yeah. Now, next step, we got to redo all the vacuum lines in here, but we have to pull the dash for the tachometer and speedometer as well, so we're not going to do any of the gauge wiring like professionally right now until we take that out.
splitting in my garage is uh, shit, but we're gonna we're gonna get it out. We're gonna warm it up. Uh, these are both connected and calibrated. We got this is chilling for now because it's gonna go up here where this old one is. But I have access to it. Uh, I switched it. So we might we might get more than our, our wastegate spring. We might not, but that's not why we're out. We just want to see if everything works. Um, and then new wideband seems to be working fine. So. Yeah. We're gonna do some pulls, hear that exhaust, and then come back and make sure nothing's on fire. Yeah, we got the extinguisher because who knows? Alright guys, it's gonna do it for the Datsun today. Um, really ter uh, terrifying kind of drivetrain shake. Uh, we know it's not the motor because clutch all the way in, idling at a thousand, it's still going, it's it's out of control. So we definitely yeah. want to find out. Our front wheels are kind of facing outwards though, so we yeah. think the alignment might have gotten screwed with somehow. We just did like an eyeball alignment when we put on the new suspension and everything and definitely didn't take time to perfect it or anything like that. In addition to that, we melted through our um, are very temporary vacuum lines almost instantly but when it ran it ran good and it sounded good dare i say uh kind of subaru-esque yeah it's super freaking aggressive it's got a, it's got a rumble to it now Deep uh, rumble. it's probably because it's, it doesn't have equal length headers anymore um but yeah there's there's still a lot we got to do uh, we accidentally hit 20 pounds today but that's like because the wastegate melted off so it was pretty cool until it starts shaking. So actually, terrifying. if you think about it, we made we made a chunk of progress towards 30 psi today. Um, Devin's gonna go ahead and pick a winner for this video's giveaway. If you guys are not familiar with our channel, we give away products from BoostedShades.com every single video. Even if you guys don't win, please check out BoostedShades.com. That's the best way to support us and make sure that these builds keep happening. All right, this video's winner is Dark Flamed Pyromancer. All right, you can get us up at Team Boosted at BoostedShades.com or through any of our social media platforms. We will get back to you and ship you a prize. If you are new here, and there's quite a few of you who are because of uh, the algorithm starting to pick up some more videos, which is a good thing. If you are new here and you want to win, all you got to do is like, subscribe, and comment. The comment could be anything. Um, we usually ask you guys stuff. You can answer it. Feel free to not. Any comment is eligible. Um, so we don't know what just broke, but it was scary. This video's question it is, what is the scariest thing your car has ever done while driving in terms of braking or something like that? Um, I've had a wheel almost fall off in the Porsche because we didn't tighten on the lug nuts, something along those lines. Um, a, ter a terrifying thing that your car has done out of your control. Leave that in the comments, you're eligible to win. As always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.